In the world of comedy, the actor's deadpan delivery and unique comedic style have left an indelible mark. Born on September 5, 1929, in Oak Park, Illinois, the actor began his journey in the entertainment industry as a writer and stand-up comedian. His groundbreaking comedy album, The Button-Down Mind of Bob Newhart, released in 1960, skyrocketed him to fame. The album topped the charts for weeks and even earned him a Grammy Award for Album of the Year. This recognition propelled him to television stardom, where he created two iconic sitcoms, The Bob Newhart Show and Newhart. The Bob Newhart Show, which aired from 1972 to 1978, featured the actor as a psychologist, offering a fresh and innovative take on the sitcom genre. The show received critical acclaim and remains a classic in television history. In 1982, the actor returned to television with Newhart, where he played a Vermont innkeeper for eight successful seasons. Throughout his career, the actor has been honored with numerous accolades, including the Mark Twain Prize for American Humor in 2002 and the Peabody Award for his contributions to television. His unique comedic style and enduring characters have solidified his place as a legend in the entertainment industry. Robert Newhart is a legendary actor and comedian known for his deadpan delivery and unique comedic style. You might recognize him from his many memorable roles in film and television. Perhaps it was his self-titled 1960s variety show or his iconic roles in shows like The Bob Newhart Show and Newhart. So, we're curious, out of all of the actor's legendary works, which one do you believe defined his career? And when was the first time you recognized him? We would also love to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic star. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. And stay tuned because there are many funny, shocking, and even sad facts coming up about the actor. So, keep watching this video to learn more. Born in Oak Park, Illinois, in 1929, the actor, known for his deadpan delivery, was the only child of George and Julia Newhart. His father was a businessman, while his mother stayed at home to raise him. The actor's grandfather was a Catholic priest, which may have influenced his own religious beliefs. As a child, the actor was introverted and often found solace in radio shows, which would later inspire his own career in comedy. He attended Catholic schools and went on to study business administration in college. However, he soon realized that his true passion lay in making people laugh. After serving in the army and working in accounting, the actor began performing comedy routines in local clubs. He was discovered by a radio producer and soon found success with his hit comedy album, The Button-Down Mind of Bob Newhart, which won several awards and cemented his place in the world of comedy. Throughout his career, the actor has credited several individuals with influencing his craft. One of his earliest influences was comedian George Goebel, who he admired for his ability to deliver dry, witty humor. He has also cited comedians such as Jack Benny and Bob Hope as inspirations. In addition to these comedic influences, the actor has also worked with several notable mentors throughout his career. One of his earliest mentors was comedian Buddy Hackett, who helped him hone his comedic timing and stage presence. He has also worked with directors and producers such as Larry Gelbart and Sheldon Leonard, who have helped shape his career in television and film. Despite his success, the actor remains humble and dedicated to his craft. He continues to perform and entertain audiences, inspiring a new generation of comedians and actors with his unique style and wit. The actor, known for his deadpan delivery, and unique comedic style made his mark in the film industry during the 1960s. His groundbreaking album, The Button-Down Mind of Bob Newhart, won several awards and reached the top of the Billboard charts. This success led to his appearance on The Ed Sullivan Show and a contract with Warner Brothers in 1961. The actor made his film debut in The Parent Trap, playing the role of the lovable and slightly awkward suitor to Maureen O'Hara's character. His performance was well received and he went on to star in several more films throughout the decade, including Hell is for Heroes and Hot Millions. However, it was in television where the actor truly left his mark. His self-titled show, The Bob Newhart Show, premiered in 1972 and quickly became a hit. The show followed the life of a psychologist living in Chicago and co-starred Suzanne Plachette as his wife. The show ran for six seasons and remains a classic to this day. The actor's influence on the film industry extends beyond his own work. 
His unique style of comedy paved the way for future comedians and actors. He was a pioneer in using a conversational tone and observational humor, which became a staple in comedy. In addition to his work in front of the camera, the actor was also a producer and writer. He co-created the show Newhart, which aired from 1982 to 1990. The show followed the life of a Vermont innkeeper and co-starred Mary Fran as his wife. The show was another success for the actor and is still remembered fondly by fans. The actor's contributions to Hollywood are undeniable. He has been honored with several awards, including the Mark Twain Prize for American Humor and a Peabody Award. His work has left a lasting impact on the film industry and his influence can still be seen today. Long before becoming a household name, the actor's passion for performing was sparked in his early years. As a young man, he found himself drawn to the world of comedy and entertainment. He once shared that he was an introverted child who preferred listening to the radio over playing outside with friends. This fascination with radio shows led him to impersonate characters and perform skits for his family. In high school, the future actor joined the drama club and discovered a love for being on stage. However, it wasn't until he served in the army that he seriously considered pursuing a career in entertainment. While working as an accountant in the Corps, he began writing and performing comedy routines during his free time. His unique style of humor, which often involved one-sided phone conversations, quickly gained popularity among his fellow soldiers. After leaving the Army, the actor decided to take a leap of faith and pursue his passion for comedy full-time. He started performing at local nightclubs and gradually made a name for himself in the industry. His big break came when he released his debut comedy album which became an instant hit and earned him several awards, including a Grammy. From then on, the actor's career took off and he became a fixture in the entertainment industry. He starred in numerous films and television shows, showcasing his versatile talent and earning critical acclaim. Despite his success, the actor never forgot his humble beginnings and remained grounded and dedicated to his craft. Throughout his career, the actor has brought laughter and joy to millions of people worldwide. His passion for performing and his unique comedic style have left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry, inspiring countless others to pursue their dreams. After residing with his parents until his 20s, the actor found work as an advertising copywriter for a major independent film and television producer in Chicago. It was during this time that he was stationed in Camp Roberts in San Luis Obispo, California, serving in the military in 1952. These experiences, both personal and professional, undoubtedly contributed to the actor's development as a performer, shaping his unique comedic style and perspective. In the early years of the actor's career, financial struggles were a significant obstacle. To make ends meet, he worked as an accountant while pursuing his passion for acting and comedy. This perseverance showcased his resilience and determination to succeed in the industry. The actor's unique style of humor marked by subtle delivery and witty one-liners, initially faced skepticism from industry professionals. Critics questioned whether his unconventional approach would resonate with audiences. However, the actor remained steadfast in his creative vision. To overcome industry skepticism, the actor turned to stand-up comedy, performing in small clubs and venues. His talent for storytelling and knack for humor quickly gained attention, leading to appearances on popular television shows and radio programs. Despite initial setbacks, the actor's innovative approach to comedy and acting eventually paid off. He landed his own television show, which became a massive success and solidified his place in the entertainment industry. Throughout his career, the actor faced numerous challenges, but his resilience and determination allowed him to overcome each hurdle. By remaining true to his creative vision and continuously honing his craft, he transformed skepticism into admiration and left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. The actor's television series always bear his name, such as The Bob Newhart Show in 1961 and 1972, Newhart in 1982, Bob in 1992, and George and Leo in 1997. Interestingly, his real first name is George. In addition to his successful television career, the actor also had a notable film appearance in Catch-22 as Major Major. One memorable scene shows him pacing around his office while changing the framed photo on his wall from Franklin D. Roosevelt to Winston Churchill and then to Ias of Stalin. 
It is worth mentioning that the actor has a sister who is a nun, named Sister M. Joan Newhart. This family fact provides a glimpse into the actor's personal life, which remains largely private despite his public career. In 1960, the actor's life changed with the release of his comedy album, The Button-Down Mind of Bob Newhart. This groundbreaking record, filled with clever one-sided phone call routines, reached the number one spot on the Billboard charts and earned the actor his first of four Grammy Awards. George Carlin, a fellow comedian, praised it as the most successful comedy album ever. A few years later, the actor landed his own variety show, The Bob Newhart Show, in 1961. Although the show only lasted for one season, it showcased his unique comedic style and paved the way for his future success. Critics appreciated his understated humor and ability to find humor in everyday situations. In 1972, the actor returned to television with The Bob Newhart Show, a sitcom that followed the life of a psychologist living in Chicago. The show became a massive hit and ran for six seasons. The actor's co-star, Marsha Wallace, praised his ability to make even the most mundane lines funny. The actor's career reached new heights in 1982 with the show Newhart, where he played a Vermont innkeeper. The show ran for eight seasons and cemented the actor's status as a sitcom legend. Critics and audiences alike loved the show's clever humor and the actor's impeccable comedic timing. In 1992, the actor starred in Bob, a short-lived sitcom that saw him playing a retired man who becomes a talk show host. Although the show only lasted for one season, it was praised for the actor's ability to find humor in the challenges of aging. Throughout his career, the actor has been praised for his unique comedic style and his ability to find humor in everyday situations. His contributions to the world of comedy have been significant, and he continues to be a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. In the film Hell is for Heroes, the actor played the role of PVT, James Driscoll, which was a late addition to the script. The character was written specifically for the actor after a chance encounter with the head of production at Paramount. The location shots for the film took place in Redding, California during August, but the cast and extras were dressed in heavy winter uniforms. This proved to be a challenge for the actor, who had a serious fear of snakes. Despite the presence of rattlesnakes on set, no one was bitten. During filming, there were tensions between some of the actors. According to the actor's autobiography, Steve McQueen and Bobby Doran did not get along. When stories of their feud appeared in the trade papers, the film's publicist was fired. It was later revealed that Nick Adams had leaked the story to the press. The actor recounts that Adams felt guilty about the situation and even chased after the publicist's departing plane to apologize. The actor, known for his deadpan delivery and distinctive comedic style, has had a long and successful career in the entertainment industry. His artistic vision is often centered around the exploration of human relationships and the absurdities of everyday life. He once mentioned in an interview that his goal is to find the humor in ordinary situations and make people laugh. This unique approach to comedy is reflected in his work, where he often plays characters who are mild-mannered, yet witty and quick-witted. His signature style involves a lot of subtlety and nuance with the humor arising from the characters' reactions to the situations they find themselves in. The actor's personal experiences and worldview have greatly influenced his work. Growing up in a large family, he developed a keen sense of observation and an ability to find humor in everyday situations. This upbringing has informed his comedic style, which often features relatable characters and situations that audiences can easily connect with. In his work, the actor often explores themes of family, marriage, and work, drawing from his own experiences to create authentic and engaging characters. He has said that he enjoys playing characters who are flawed and relatable as it allows him to connect with the audience on a deeper level. The actor's artistic vision and process are a testament to his talent and dedication to his craft. Through his unique approach to comedy and his ability to find humor in everyday situations, he has created a body of work that is both entertaining and thought-provoking. His contributions to the entertainment industry have left a lasting impact, and his legacy continues to inspire new generations of comedians and actors. After beginning his contract career as a comedian for Warner Brothers Records in 1959, the actor's unique comedic style, which often featured one-sided phone conversations, was showcased in the film Hell is for Heroes. 
Initially, director Don Siegel did not want to shoot a scene where the actor's character, PVT. James Driscoll had a fake telephone conversation with headquarters to deceive the Germans. However, the studio insisted on including the scene to capitalize on the actor's popularity as a stand-up comic. The actor even wrote his own lines for this memorable scene. Later, the actor starred in The Bob Newhart Show as Dr. Robert Bob Hartley. Suzanne Plachette was cast as his on-screen wife. Emily, after she appeared on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson seated next to the actor, producers believed that she and the actor had great chemistry and asked her to read for the show. The show became a classic sitcom and the actor's portrayal of Dr. Hartley remains iconic. The actor, known for his deadpan delivery and distinctive comedic style, has made a significant impact in the industry. His groundbreaking variety show, The Bob Newhart Show, premiered in 1972 and ran for six successful seasons. The series is still celebrated today for its innovative format and the actor's unique comedic timing. Industry expert Laura Lindsay states, The Bob Newhart Show was a game changer. It combined traditional sitcom elements with a fresh, modern approach that resonated with audiences. The actor's influence extends beyond his own work. Many comedian and actors cite him as a significant influence on their careers. Chris Rock, a renowned comedian, once said, Bob Newhart is a legend. His delivery, his timing, his subtlety, it all had a huge impact on me. The actor's innovative approach to comedy also influenced storytelling in the industry. His signature style of delivering one-sided phone conversations, as seen in his stand-up routines in the show, added a new layer to comedic storytelling. This technique has since been adopted by many other comedians and writers. Furthermore, the actor's work has transcended generations. His clean, relatable humor appeals to a wide range of audiences, making his impact timeless. His influence can be seen in various aspects of the industry, from stand-up comedy to television and film. As Lindsay puts it, the actor's contribution to the industry is immeasurable. He's not just a comedian. He's a storyteller, an innovator, and a true icon. After his successful career in stand-up comedy, the actor made his feature film debut in the war film Hell is for Heroes as PVT, James Driscoll. Although he initially didn't want children to be included in his show, his character Dr. Robert Bob Hartley on The Bob Newhart Show was surprised when Emily Hartley announced her pregnancy in one of his nightmares. Despite being considered for the role of Andy Stone in Martin Scorsese's Casino, the part ultimately went to Alan King. The actor, known for his deadpan humor, leads a private life away from the spotlight. He was born in Oak Park, Illinois, and served in the Army before finding success in show business. Newhart values hard work and discipline, traits he developed during his time in the military. In his personal life, the actor is a family man who cherishes time with his wife and children. He has been married to Ginny Newhart since 1963, and they have four children together. Newhart often speaks about the importance of balance between his career and personal life. The actor is also passionate about giving back to his community. He has been involved in various philanthropic efforts throughout his career. Newhart has supported organizations such as the American Cancer Society, the Muscular Dystrophy Association, and the National Mental Health Association. He has also been involved in efforts to support veterans and their families. In addition to his philanthropic work, Newhart is an avid golfer and enjoys spending time on the golf course. He has also been known to incorporate his love of golf into his work, including his role in the film Elf. Newhart's personal values and interests have often informed his work as an actor. His dry humor and everyman appeal have made him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Despite his success, he remains grounded and committed to his family and community. As the actor aged, his on-screen wives got progressively younger. In The Bob Newhart Show, his co-star Suzanne Plachette was eight years his junior, while in Newhart, Mary Fran was 14 years younger. In Bob, Carlene Watkins was a full 23 years younger than him. The actor's career included numerous appearances on The Ed Sullivan Show, a total of eight times. His influence extended to behind the scenes as well. During Newhart, he suggested using film instead of videotape to give the show a more realistic look from the second season onwards. This decision added depth and authenticity to the series, enhancing the viewing experience for audiences. The actor, known for his deadpan humor, has left an indelible mark on the industry. 
With a career spanning over six decades, he has brought laughter to millions through his work in television and stand-up comedy. His groundbreaking sitcoms, The Bob Newhart Show and Newhart, showcased his unique comedic style and cemented his place in television history. Beyond his success in comedy, the actor also demonstrated his versatility in dramatic roles, earning critical acclaim for his performances in films like Catch-22 and Elf. His contributions to the entertainment industry have been widely recognized, earning him numerous awards and accolades, including several Emmy Awards and a Peabody Award. As for his future contributions, the actor has expressed a desire to continue working in the industry, exploring new opportunities, and challenging himself as an artist. He has served as an inspiration to countless aspiring professionals in the field, offering valuable advice and insights based on his own experiences. One of his key pieces of advice is to stay true to oneself and one's artistic vision. He encourages aspiring professionals to take risks and push boundaries while also remaining grounded and humble in the face of success. He emphasizes the importance of hard work, dedication, and a willingness to learn from others, noting that success is rarely achieved overnight. The actor also stresses the value of collaboration and building relationships within the industry. He notes that some of his most rewarding experiences have come from working with other talented artists and he encourages aspiring professionals to seek out opportunities to learn from and work with others. Finally, the actor encourages aspiring professionals to remain passionate and committed to their craft, even in the face of challenges and setbacks. He notes that the entertainment industry can be unpredictable and often requires a thick skin, but that the rewards of pursuing one's dreams can be immeasurable. In short, the actor's legacy within the industry is one of innovation, humor, and versatility, while his advice for aspiring professionals emphasizes the importance of staying true to oneself, collaborating with others, and remaining passionate and committed to one's craft. In The Bob Newhart Show, the actor playing Dr. Robert Bob hardly had a unique method to remember his lines. He would write them on cards and hide them around the set as he struggled to memorize them. As a young man, he looked up to Robert Benchley, Jack Benny, and Fred Allen, whose comedic styles undoubtedly influenced his own. The actor also had a role in the film Catch-22, where he played Major Major. Interestingly, this movie featured three actors who later became regulars on the Bob Newhart show the actor, Peter Boners, and Jack Riley. It's clear that the actor had a knack for comedy and a successful career, with his idols and co-stars influencing him along the way. After serving in the military and working in advertising, the actor found his calling in comedy. In 1960, he released his first comedy album, The Button-Down Mind of Bob Newhart, which became a massive success. This recognition led to appearances on television shows and his own variety series. However, it was his role in The Bob Newhart Show that truly solidified his place in the entertainment industry. Premiering in 1972, the show featured the actor as a psychologist, a character he would reprise in his next successful series, Newhart, which aired from 1982 to 1990. Throughout his career, the actor has been known for his deadpan delivery and unique comedic style. He has been a trailblazer in the industry, inspiring countless comedians and entertainers. His work has transcended generations, with his shows still finding audiences today. The actor's journey is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. From his humble beginnings to his groundbreaking roles, he has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. His ability to innovate and captivate audiences serves as a reminder that with hard work and dedication, anyone can achieve their dreams. After graduating from St. Ignatius College Preparatory School in Chicago, Illinois in 1947, the actor went on to receive his first Emmy Award nomination in 1962. It took 52 years for him to receive his first Emmy win, which was for his role as Professor Proton in the sitcom episode The Proton Displacement in 2013. In the show Newhart, the actor played the character Dick Loudon. At the end of each episode, the voice of the kitten meowing in the MTM logo is that of the actor himself. This fun fact adds a personal touch to the show and highlights the actor's talent and versatility. As you reflect on the actor's career, you might consider his impact on television and comedy. With a career spanning decades, the actor has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. His work in the Bob Newhart show and Newhart brought us unforgettable characters and countless laughs. 
In The Bob Newhart Show, the actor played a psychologist, offering a fresh and humorous take on the profession. His deadpan delivery and clever humor made the show a standout. Later, in Newhart, the actor once again showcased his comedic genius, this time as an innkeeper in a small town filled with eccentric characters. Beyond his work in these two iconic shows, the actor has also made his mark in films like Catch-22 and Elf. His unique style of humor has resonated with audiences, making him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. As you think about the actor's work and legacy, consider sharing your thoughts in the comments below. What are some of your favorite moments from his shows or films? How has his work impacted you personally? We'd love to hear from you. And if you enjoy this content, please consider liking and sharing it with others who might appreciate it as well. Your support helps us continue to celebrate the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Don't forget to subscribe for more content celebrating the artists and entertainers who have made a mark on our lives.